Hey guys, how you doing? Russ here. I am just going to check and make sure that the audio is working the way I want it to, and then we'll carry on. So bear with me here. Let's just see, because I did one last night, and the audio cut out halfway through. <laughs> hey, oh, there we go. I am just going to check and make uh, sure. I always lose the, the pause button the audio is until I expand it. Hold on. <laughs> Stop, damn it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> ah, dear, I, I mentioned I did a video earlier today that when, when you add more pieces to the to the puzzle, that it'll often improve things, but it also creates more potential for a link to get missed or something like that. So I did a video last night, really profound, at 1230 at night and halfway through my audio cut out. So that's why I set the monitor up here. We're uh, downtown... Um, on the weekend, and there's a hey Brian, how you doing? There's a store called the Vinyl Den, and there's this guy that runs it, and he started it. He opened it right at the beginning of the apocalypse, right? So just right at the beginning, and it's um. Oh hey guys, so oh hey cool, so I've got this. I'm just playing around with stuff, so I have myself over here as well. So we actually have the comments here. So I think Christina said hi, and so I can type a lot easier. I'm just gonna do this. We'll do, um, cause doing it on the phone is just kind of dumb, right? Um, but I have to spell, oh Lord. There, that works. So we could do that and that. There, that should work, huh? <laughs> Anyway, I'm back. And, and so he, oh, look at that. There it is. So he, he started, uh, uh, he opened the shop right at the beginning of the apocalypse. And it, it's downtown. So, I mean, it's not super high rent, but I mean, it's a you know fair bit of, of space and, and expenses and all that kind of stuff. And he was basically shut down for, I don't know, however long. And it's really neat as we were in there and it's, it's changed. Some of the things have stayed the same, but he's changed a lot of it, even the sort of the whole theme of the store. And it was interesting because he's just the coolest guy. And he was saying how he's kind of changed it up. And now it's more of a cafe than it is a store and a bit of a blend and things like this. And he actually used the word, or I, we maybe used it in conversation that came up about reinventing the store. And he actually said he loves chaos. So that's kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> I get where he's coming from because <laughs> we talked about that. Because in as and you've heard me talk about this a lot. There, it's like you know pre people talk about thinking outside the box. Well, there's no box anymore. The box is just shattered. And so this is two possibilities. So the people that really appreciate the box because they don't have to think, right? So here's the box. I don't have to think. I just go with the box. Hey, Daniel, how you doing? don't know what to do because there's no box. Now, the other nice thing about it is there is no box. And so all bets are off. And, and that was kind of the theme for this video, which was, uh, oh, hey, there's Brian. So I can just go over here and go, hey, Mr. B. There we go. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> anyway, reinventing and so he was reinventing his business, which is an extension of him. And of course, as you guys know, the healing center and everything that everything that I do is an expression of me, right? And how in these last, I don't even know how long, a couple of months. Hey, Daniel, that's good. I'm glad. Uh, love your posts and stuff like that. So cool. I, uh, because I've, I've said this to a variety of people. I don't know if I've said it to... Uh, you guys are not, but I, I honestly, honestly, hey, Brenda, I honestly, hey, Gordon, how you doing? I honestly didn't think the it would go this deep and stay this long. Uh, and I don't know, I, I don't watch the news a whole lot. I figure what I need to know will find me. Uh, apparently, there's some announcement tomorrow again about who knows new limitations or whatever. So what I've been doing is that we've been doing is tearing apart the whole, really the whole curriculum, even the Reiki curriculum, not that we're fundamentally changing it, but kind of tearing it apart to components and sort of, and in a very good word, a very accurate word is reinventing 
what the healing center is and how we deliver, I guess, if you will, and connect with you guys and things like that. And one of the things that that is important to be cognizant of when a person is reinventing themselves, and I think we have a wonderful opportunity, all of us right now, in the middle of this chaos, to reinvent ourselves in this crazy way amongst all the limitation. Yeah, challenge comes to mind, absolutely. In all the limitations that we're being that are being enforced really upon us, ironically, there's also a freedom that it's probably not easy to see at times, but there's a freedom and a potential for us to recreate ourselves because so much of what we considered normal is now gone. And who knows when and how it will come back. And so I think because of that, the box right is gone. So we have this opportunity now to recreate or reinvent ourselves. So as I've been doing this, one of the things that has been important for me to remember is that it's not, oops, sorry, I hit the mic. It's not, I just do everything that I always do. I just put a webcam in front of me because it doesn't work that way. That it, it really, um, I don't know, you've probably seen pictures in the past. We had, hey, Carly, how you doing? We had, I had actually paper all across the wall. I got my fancy background. I still got to work on it because I got stuff sticking out the side. But anyway, like tear it all down to pieces. I, I posted something. I don't even, yeah, that, for sure, Daniel. That's for, and you know we can do that, and it's never too late, and it's never too whatever. We're I don't know never, never too fill in the blanks to reinvent ourselves. But and it's not starting from scratch. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's uh, I'll kind of touch it up a little bit, but it actually comes from Bali Imports for those Red Deer Central Alberta folks. Bali Imports in the Bauer Mall. Very reasonable. I can't remember what it was, but very reasonable. And I like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's huge, right? I mean, it's, it's probably Florida, down near eight feet. Um, and I don't know how wide it would be. So when, when I was doing this, I was, I was careful to not bring in old boxes of thinking and structure into the re, Inventation. <laughs> I make up words, but you guys know that. And when we're in reinventing ourselves, it's it can be easy to try and and to bring those old boxes, belief systems, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so Brian, oh, I'm just reading his, his stuff here. Brian's so cool because he's living in. Oh, God, Columbia in a village slash city that starts with, I think, an F and I can't pronounce. And I bet you do stick up. Because, <laughs> Brian, he's he's really tall, uh, fair, of course. Right? And he's in Columbia. So, yeah, I should when I come down and visit you, we'll really stick out because there's going to be two tall, skinny white guys there. <laughs> yeah, Bali Imports is so cool, isn't it? Um, and so that... To, to bring in those old patterns. And I'm not saying that you maybe don't bring some things through, but I think it's really important. And I just use what I've been doing here to really kind of vet those. Because now's a wonderful opportunity to leave those old patterns, belief systems, old feelings, as Christina said, behind and create something brand new. Oh, hey, Tracy, how you doing? This is forcing us to slow down. We tend to be distracted with being busy. Amen, sister. This is affording us a great opportunity to go within and reevaluate. Yeah, well, perfectly said. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like, who do I want to be? Right? And and because there isn't that, that momentum of the past so much, that's trying to determine our trajectory into the future, because we're in the middle of this chaos right, that we really do have an opportunity to just kind of say, who do I want to be, right? Just who do I want to be? And maybe there's some definitions, here's a good word, some definitions of who I was that I want to include in the new creation of me. And I think that's the that's thing. I only walking around without a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know that. When I'm down in the in the southern states uh, in the winter or something, same thing. They're in winter coats and I'm in shorts. And then, boy, do you stick out, right? So we're reinventing it. We're not renovating. Oh, I like that. That's good. We're reinventing ourselves. We're not renovating. 
ourselves. And so there may be some things that we bring through, but I think it's valuable to really evaluate, do I want to include this or not? And we have this wonderful opportunity to do that. And that's what I was doing, right? It's really simple things. So for instance, this is a really practical application, but what I'm seeing is, Yes, merging the best of the old with the best of the new. Absolutely, yes. You, you cherry pick. Pick what you want, right? If Do you like this? Then bring it. If you don't like it, then don't bring it, right? But I think what's really valuable, just as you guys were saying, is, and I can't remember the really cool words that came out of my mouth, but we're not renovating. We're reinventing ourselves. And we get to choose who we are. And so what some I'm seeing some people are doing is, as I said, what they did in person in a workshop, they're just doing the same thing in front of a webcam. Well, you see, now they're bringing an old way of doing things, an old way of being into a new world, and it doesn't work because there's there's data that's starting to come out now because the whole world was running on Zoom kind of thing that the fatigue factor is about an hour. And so, generally speaking, again, right? So, um, if, the, if your session or if your class goes longer than an hour you're going to start to lose people. So what we've been doing, and I'm, I, hopefully I'll be able to post it. I actually got it on the screen in front of me, is the first one we're trying is a Reiki Level 1 certification, doing it in five um, virtual session segments with some some other training materials that go with it. But it's five segments of an hour long, not one session five hours long. So there's just a real pl- practical example of how the way I used to do it, I can't just flop it over into the new world. Right. And in a very real way, that's exactly what we're doing now is reinventing who the healing center is. And of course, in doing that, reinventing who I am. And simplicity, yeah, for sure. See what's serving us and discard what isn't. That's absolutely, that's perfect, guys. So, so true. Right. And it's, it's really, hmm. Um, it's so easy. I'm trying to think of a more eloquent word, but we'll use that to let those old belief systems hmm, limit your choices in the new creation of you. Insidious. It really is how those old ones can kind of just seep through and just subtly, and you may not even think about it. That's why I think Tracy maybe said, and probably some others about going within, right? The neighbors started rocking around with their shirts, but they're all fat. (laughs) Yeah, I said, when I come visit, we're going to stand out like a sore, th- sore thumb. Two skinny, tall white guys. <laughs> Two very handsome, skull, tall, skinny white guys. <laughs> uh, those of you who have just off on board, that's Brian who lives in Columbia. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is, the, this is the time and this is an opportunity. Hey, Christina, I see... Uh, yes, Christy, there we are. Um, thanks for tuning in. To recreate, to, to reinvent who we are. And that's a wonderful opportunity. It can be a little bit scary because then the question is, well, who do I want to be? Right? What, what, what do I want my life experience to look like? And what's really cool is you get to choose unless you choose not to. And going within, combining paganism with Buddhism, Dharmic paganism. That's so cool, Daniel. Yeah, I really love how you explore all sorts of different things. Uh, and I think that's really neat that you do, right? Yeah, try different things, right? It's, it's like all bets are off now. It's like the slate is white, white clean. You're not starting from square one, though. That's the cool thing, right? It's not like I'm starting over again. You're reinventing, and that's a big difference, You're not starting from scratch. You're not starting over again. You're reinventing who you are in this moment. And you can take all the things you've learned about what you do want, what you don't want, what served you, what hasn't served you, and you can now select the ones you want to include in the mix of this magnificent creation that's you. How do I want to show up in this new world? Paradigm shifts are always scary, but they're an opportunity for growth. Absolutely. And that, and that's so true, right? And of course, the tricky thing about paradigms, belief system, truths, pick your label for it, is so often you don't even know they're there. They've been there. They become an intrinsic part of who we 
were and could be still are, unless we choose to let go of them, that we don't even realize they're there. And I think maybe in a way, this is giving us, and it ties in with what you guys have been saying too, gives us an opportunity. And thanks for all the comments. This is, this is what we need. I tell you, this is community, right? That we're reaching out, we're connecting with each other. Even if we combine all the face and beliefs in the world, we still have a fraction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think that's it, right? You choose. You choose who you wish to be. You're not choosing who I wish to be, somebody else wished to be. Because you're right, Daniel. I mean, we'll never know the whole picture, right? But we don't have to. We just choose with what our awareness is now. And then we reinvent and reinvent. But reinventing, not just renovating, but reinventing yourself, which is what, again, I've been doing with this, is is challenging and it can be scary and for sure. But at the same time, it can be exciting because there's like a whole new world that's available to us. And you're not doing it alone. That's my, my big word. I keep hitting the boom. Sorry. My big word is community with a capital C. It's, and it's a, it's a real, you talk, hear me talk about feminine energy, right? It's that feeling energy. It's that feeling of community. It's not just sharing of ideas. It's a sharing of spirits, vibrating and bodies, which, whoa, I need more coffee. Spirits vibrating in bodies, bodies, which is what we are connecting right now, right now. And we've got, well, we've got Canada and Colombia right now, as far as I know. But we can be like eight different people on, from eight different countries. And we can all connect. Not just with like-mindedness, but like-heartedness, right? We really can create something new, individually and then corporately, right? You remember here we talk about the new community as a wheel. It's not a hierarchy, Right? That we're all, there's the hub of the wheel, you're the hub of your wheel, I'm the hub of my wheel, and then around us is all the spokes, which are all the people that are part of our wheel, but of course, I'm the hub of my wheel, but I'm also the spoke of your wheel. (laughs) So we all have our own individual personal community, and then of course, we interconnect with all these other wheels. And that's where we're going to build this brand new creation in so many ways. Brian says, I'm a giant here. And I said, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You can't buy shoes or his feet are too long. I never thought about that, Brian, but that's probably true. Clothing store. Well, you don't need a lot because it's so warm. So that's cool. Well, you can connect vibrationally too and it has a ripple effect. And that's what we're doing. Absolutely, Tracy. Vibrationally. Very, it sums it up in one word, right? We're vibrating in harmony, not sameness, because sameness isn't harmony, all different, but we're all harmonizing together. And you're right. It really is a one plus one equals a hundred. That is so perfect. Well, guys, I've got to get to something at five o'clock. So uh, I just hopped online. Thanks for joining me. You guys are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um, for those of you that are, that are interested, maybe you're currently looking at reinventing yourself, doing something online or just again interested if you go to i've got a group it's called uh, i have to find it it's it's kind of a long name i'll probably change it transformate transformational practitioners online or something, something like that go to my profile and scroll down you'll see a link to it uh it's i really didn't know what it was when i started it like a choir yes exactly exactly like a choir like a like an orchestra right it's got a thousand instruments all playing their own and tunes and melody lines and harmonies, but it all blends together into one sound. Absolutely. So the practitioners, I'll think of a better group, better label for it. It's really about this. Uh, I'm sharing what I use, some of the things that I've learned in reinventing myself to create that online presence, whether it's equipment like these lights and different things like this, how I hook it up, some of the different services that I'm finding. And I'm all about, it's easy, and I will wrap up. It's easy to spend money and buy shit. The trick is to get creative and see if you can find the same, a tool or maybe a combination of tools that will allow you to do the same thing for maybe free, right? And if a little creativity, you can create some pretty cool things for really next to nothing. Very, shoot, sorry. Um, very, very economical, if not damn near free. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Share, share, share. We're all in this together. See you in the Transformational Practitioners Unite group. <laughs> go to the, go to the, my profile and scroll down. Uh, you'll see it. All right, guys, see you on the web.